in this unit circle survival guide, we will find the exact value of cosine of negative pi over 6 using the Sark method. So here's our method outline. First, the S, we will sketch the angle. Second, A stands for ASTC, our acronym for determining which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. R for determining our reference triangle and appropriate coordinates. And C for calculating the ratio. So we'll use this method to find the exact value of cosine of negative pi over six. So first let's sketch our angle's terminal side and remember, a negative in front of an angle simply indicates that it rotates clockwise. So from standard position, we rotate pi over 6 radians. So that's going to put our terminal side looking about like this. All right, if you needed to, you could have found a coterminal angle by adding 2 pi, or in this case, with a common denominator, that would be 12 pi over 6. So to find that coterminal angle, you would simply take your angle and add 2 pi in the form of 12 pi over 6 with that common denominator, and you would get a coterminal angle 11 pi over 6, and that's coterminal to negative pi over 6. So if you wanted to instead find the cosine of 11 pi over 6, you would get the same exact value as you will for cosine of negative pi over 6, since they are coterminal angles. All right, so back to our sketch, we have our terminal side of our angle sketched, and we are ready to decide if our value for cosine should be positive or negative. And we'll use ASTC to determine which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. So from quadrant one, we say A for all, S for sine and cosecant in quadrant two, so those are positive, T for tangent and its reciprocal cotangent, those are positive in quadrant three, and C, cosine, and secant, which is its reciprocal, are positive in the fourth. So that acronym is just all students take classes to help us remember this. So we're looking at our angle with its terminal side in the fourth quadrant, and we're trying to find the cosine. And we see that C tells us cosine and secant will be positive in this fourth quadrant. So our exact value will be positive. And let's go ahead and make those notes. Next, we can move on to finding our reference triangle. And so we need to know the reference angle from our sketch, and that's simply the amount of rotation from the terminal side to the x-axis. So that's right here. We said we rotated clockwise pi over 6 to get an angle of negative pi over 6, and so that is our reference angle. And that's the same thing as 30 degrees, so that's that special right triangle that's a 30-60-90 special right triangle. So the 30-degree angle is here. And so we can find the coordinates for this point in the first quadrant. We don't have to worry about positive or negatives because we've already dealt with that in step two. So you can see that the long leg is the horizontal leg, so our x coordinate will be root three over two, and then the shorter leg is the vertical leg, so the y coordinate will be one half. And now we can use these coordinates in step four to calculate our ratio. So on the unit circle, the cosine of our angle is simply going to be the x coordinate so not much calculation needed here. We simply look at our coordinates in the previous step. We see the x coordinate is square root three over two. And so that's going to be our answer. We've said cosine of negative pi over six will be positive square root of three over two. Check out the links in the video description for more worked examples of exact values using this Sark method. Thanks for watching.